Hey everyone, it's Patrick Mensner from Mr. Electric 2002. And in today's video, I'm going to be doing a talking review on the Baofeng UV5R Plus. These are not UV5Rs, these are UV5R Pluses. Just basically the next grade up. But, um, <clears throat> anyways, these, I was just going to go over some of the technical details. So these are dual band radios. You can tell they're very nice. Now, a lot of people complained about the shorter and, and, and antennas that came with these, but mine came with the longer antenna, which is great because it gives me plenty of range. Now, let's talk about how they work. So I'm going to turn this, these knobs on. I'll show you here in a minute while I use one of them. So let me turn it on. Like so. It's going to light up like that. And I'm going to show you 416.250. These are the frequencies I've been using right here. Come in the light a little bit so you can see. So this will give you plenty of range. At least a mile under varying conditions. These can be a little bit um, intolerant to terrain. I We live in, Ard in Arden Hills. And... As the name suggests, there's a lot of hills, but it does pretty well even with hills out to about a half a mile or 800 meters. But um, there's been instances where I can get out to maybe, I don't know, a couple miles. So I'll explain to you how this is going to work. So um, what you're going to do is to menu there's a menu on here and this is just going to bring you up all the options there's all sorts of options that go with these things so just too many options to get into but yes i have the roger the voice everything turned off i don't like any of that longer antenna is about six inches if you look at it next to my hand my hand is seven inches so yeah i'd say probably about six inches it's not a very big radio you might think it would be giant but it's not really very big at all it's my hand next to it so let's talk about the range so comes with the manual here so just has everything about it and I don't know if you can see this but these ones are chargers right here nice little charger does take quite a while to charge though, I will say that. But let's talk about the range. So if you go straight up the main road, which is right out there, um, it'll go all the way up to the main road, to the next main road, County E up there. Probably shouldn't tell you exactly where I live, but yeah, it can go about a half a mile and it's, it's weird sometimes. I'll have some somebody back here at the house talking to me on them, and they'll be able to hear me, but I won't be able to hear them. And it's kind of weird. It might just be because there's things in the way. But then if I go further west, there's a park, it's T Tony Schmidt Park, and um, there is certain reception because there's a big lake right there, and as soon as it gets out of this neighborhood can go across the lake with no problem there's nothing to obstruct the signal but I have been able to get maybe three miles off off of these with varying con con conditions and since these are FM waves cloud cover will not matter it can go right through the clouds doesn't even matter if there's thick cloud cover unless it's pouring rain you'll still get a significant uh, sufficient range now these are amateur ham radios and it means you technically do need a license to operate to operate them but it's not really a big deal I, I bought two of them because I wanted to use them as walkie-talkies long-range walkie-talkies but yeah they'll definitely go in case anybody thinks of wanting to buy one they'll definitely go a mile at least probably um, sufficiently consistently a half a mile these will go anything beyond a half a mile 
it probably will have problems if there's a lot of obs obstructions. But these transmit with 4 watts. Actually, 1 watt on low power, 4 watts on high power. I have them set on high power for obvious reasons. I want to get range. The battery life is pretty good. Some people might tell you that these don't have the greatest battery life, but I, just, I think that they do have a pretty good battery life. I mean, I haven't had I've, I haven't had to charge these in uh, like two weeks, and I've been using them pretty much consistently. So and they're still at three bars of battery life now. These transmit on UHF VHF, 136 to 174 megahertz for VHF, and 100 and no, 400 to 480 megahertz UHF. So it's pretty powerful signals. So um, I would say that prolonged use of these things it might not be that great for your brain because you have it right up next to your face. But yeah, these will certainly give you quite a bit of range. It's surprisingly, these transmit with more power than the PRC-77 Vietnam backpack ham radio. That, you know, the ones from Vietnam that you, you see the soldiers carrying on their backs, like a backpack. These transmit with more power than those. These are like a fraction of the size. So, it's pretty good ham radio for your, uh, for your buck, and cost me about 30 bucks a piece, so it's $60 combined. So these are good starter ham radios. They work great as walkie-talkies, too. Hope this has covered most of the topics you're wondering, and... These are UV5R pluses. The UV5R did not have this um, shiny front plate on here, but UV5R plus does. So these are pretty nice little starter amateur radios. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.